Mga adlaw sa inyong tanan. This flight system has changed a lot since the last tutorial video. From new Valkyrian skies features to quality of life changes to the lure code. A lot has changed except for the swarm UI. I'm supposed to teach you how to use it in this video, but I'm not really good at building UIs in Lua. Although it is functional, you have to jump through hoops just to add a new button to the controller. I'm going to let you build your own swarm UI. There is a lot of computer craft libraries and tutorials out there that should get you started. Instead, what I'm going to do today is teach you how to talk with Omni drones. You can build your own UI from there. You first need to prepare a drone to talk to, spawn one in using vmod or schematic files, and drop the template code in your turtle pilot. Sometimes when you spawn it in with a turtle, you get this error when you try running the code. You just need to break it and put it back to get it to work. We then get another computer to serve as our remote controller. Anything that has an ender modem will do. A drone has two channels to listen for commands with. The debug channel and the channel for the remote controller. You can set these channels over at the drone's firmware script.lua file. For now, let's use the remote controller channel. Let's create a new Lua script on our remote controller. We reference our ender modem and save the channels that we're going to use as constants. By default, the message format requires the drone ID, a message table with a command name and arguments if need be. And then we just send it. It is that simple. Let's look at where our message ends up when our drone receives it. Let us first go to the drone base class under the receive command method. This is where the messages are received. You can override this method to add your own security measures or change the expected messaging format. Maybe instead of using the ship ID, you use an encryption key or something else. The rest of the message is then passed to the protocols method. This is where your commands are executed. These commands are essential in running your drone, mostly for radar management and changing flight settings. For adding custom commands, you have two options. You can use the drone base class's custom protocols method. Override this method to add your own command protocols for the ship. You can also use the drone base class's remote control manager class. Say you want your drone to reply its current state to your controller, like what mode it is in, its current settings, etc. The remote controller manager does this for you. You give the settings you want to show up in your remote control to the remote control manager. Your remote controller commands the drone to get settings info, and the drone's remote control manager tells your remote controller your drone's current settings in one message reply. You can add custom protocols if you want to do something fancy with each of the remote control variables. Feel free to explore this class to learn more about it. To listen to a drone from our remote controller, we open a channel for our modem to listen to and set up a loop to wait for a reply after issuing the command. Let's use the get settings info command. If done right, the drone should reply with its current settings.
So there you have it. I hope this helps you get started in learning how to talk with Omni Drones. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to integrate the Omni Drone flight system to your own custom-built ships. See you in the next one.